the counties and municipalities have, for the large part, always funded their responsibility. That's probably why the police and fire is so well funded, because most of that funds comes from the local governments and not the state government. So I, it, this, to me, is not an issue about do we want to fund or we do not want to fund the pension. I would absolutely love to find a way to make up for the 15 years that we didn't fund it, but we don't have that kind of rabbit to pull out of a hat, Mr. Speaker. This is not, Assemblyman, from my heart that we don't want to fund this pension. Absolutely I want to fund this pension. But I'll tell you what, after I listened to the Treasurer today explain to us that last year we borrowed short-term $2.6 billion to bridge the gap till the revenue came in, and this year he has that down to $1.9 billion, and then you add that $1.3 billion to it and shackle the Governor. And maybe we get that revenue, and maybe we don't. It's much better to wait till the revenue comes in and then fund this pension. And I will remind my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, I sit on the Appropriations Committee as the Appropriations Officer. Forty-eight bills in the last two weeks. Uh, please give me a couple of – a little levity here, a little leeway. Please, we need to restrain ourselves from adding costs to every budget for recurring expenses when we should be taking money that we do build up over the year and funding the pension. We passed out of appropriations at least okay. $45 million up to some undeterminable amount of money. I said, ho I hopefully it will never hit the floor, I, Mr. Speaker. I gave, you, I gave you that latitude. But so what I'm saying is it's not only cutting spending, it's not adding to spending when we have the pension fund that needs to be funded. We want to fund the pension, but we have to be disciplined enough to have the money as it comes in and our economy grows to fund it. It's not that we don't want to fund it, sir.